So as a stress, health and performance group, we are interested in helping people live healthier lives, uh, perform to their potential in demanding environments and thrive in today's fast-paced digital society. One of the really interesting areas that we're involved in is around technology and in particular how technology has an impact on our working practices and technology can be very useful so for example it's helpful to be able to pick up our emails on the train on the way to work or, or back from work but actually one of the downsides of that is the potential impact that has on our ability to rest and recover and so switch off from work and so increasing our levels of chronic stress because we're unable to switch off. We're interested in exploring how technology particularly through email has a link on stress and productivity, but then also more broadly how technology can maybe change our working practices. We're working with people who go into extreme environments. These might be people who are uh, going on expeditions. They might be people who, as part of their work, work in extreme environments like first responders or military personnel. We also uh, do research in uh, isolation and confinement studies to help people prepare for uh, potential space travel. So we're really interested in understanding how people function, perform together and work in those environments. One area where we have a great deal of critical mass and a number of researchers exploring stress and its link to health is through the effect of early childhood exposure to trauma and early childhood exposure to adverse experiences. And we have a number of researchers who are interested in understanding how exposure at an early age to trauma or to adverse experiences has an effect later on in life in our ability to, to function, our stress uh, responses later on in life and our ability to manage the demands that we are faced with. Across the university and with colleagues internationally, we have been working on um, exploring the link between exposure to natural environments, so nature, and our stress responses. And in particular, um, exploring how and why and when uh, being exposed to nature can have a positive effect on our levels of stress, can have a positive effect on our ability to rest and recover, and have a positive effect on our ability to perform complex cognitive tasks. And so this is a project and a number of projects actually that we've been involved in with colleagues across the university, but also other colleagues uh, externally exploring the role of nature and its link to stress, health and well-being. <laughs>